Welcome to Hat Tips with Hornskull. Today I'll show you different brim edge finishes, explain how they're made and their advantages and disadvantages. Now there are many things to consider when getting a hat. One of them is the finish to the edge of the brim. I don't mean the shape of the brim. I've already talked about that in a different video. I mean the finish to the very edge of the brim. Every hat essentially starts with a raw cut brim edge. And this is a brim edge without any finish to it. It has a very relaxed and casual appearance, especially with a soft dress hat, where a raw cut brim will often end up looking wavy or floppy, depending on the width of the brim. And that is the main disadvantage to the raw brim edge. There's nothing there to help it keep its shape. And that brings me to the bound brim edge. And this is where a ribbon is sewn onto the edge of the brim, both to give it a more finished look, but more so to help keep the shape of the brim. When a brim is bound correctly, it is done so in a closed loop that is slightly smaller than the circumference of the brim. That adds a bit of tension to the brim that will help keep the shape of the brim. It also gives a snap brim a much better snap. Now, if you're not a fan of the bound brim edge, you can get a welted brim edge instead. This is where the material of the hat is rolled over on itself and stitched in place. And this can be done both ways, so you get either an overwelt or an underwelt. This adds even more strength to the edge of the brim. The downside, however, is that it will sometimes counteract the snap effect of a snap brim. Now, lastly, there's the whip stitch, which can be done in a variety of different ways, but it is when stitching is whipped around the edge of the brim. This does add a little tension to the brim edge, but is mostly a decorative option. I hope this helped you get a better understanding of the different brim edge finishes. If there's anything you'd like to hear more about, let us know in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you found it useful. I'll be back next week with another hat tip.